Maybe he's not home. Pleasant afternoon, officers. Detective Berardi, Kingstown Police Department. Does the lady speak? Detective Easton, we'd like to chat with you. I'm shocked. Fresh out of lemonade. I don't get many guests. Where were you last night? On a date. Yeah? You got a witness to confirm that? I picked up some Chinese. They came right back here. Alone? Yes. Any witnesses? Perhaps. Not sure how great their English is but they refer to me as fried plantains and poo, poo platter. Did you know Owen Thomas? The dead kid. Not really my type. Listen, you're the top suspect. So if you like it here better than where you just came from, I want to try to cooperate. Bad cop. Does that make you the good cop? I love a good girl. Yeah, well, you're gonna hate me. It's okay. I can teach you. Anyone can be trained with the proper motivation. This is pointless. Let's go. He performed with some other queers at the prison last spring, but I didn't touch him. Like I said, not my type. What about Becky Underhill? Never heard of her. 16 year old girl? That's certainly your type, isn't it? Hmm. Did she suffer much? What? Do you think she suffered? Do you think she begged for him to stop? Enough. He must have loved it, knowing she was at his disposal. Every breath she drew, his choice. The flesh tearing under his power. Her skin under his nails. Her tears at his tongue. I'd almost guarantee she begged. Uh, in the end, they almost always do. Even you would beg, Detective Easton. Go ahead! Give me an excuse to shoot you! I was only trying to help. If you're gonna bring her into my house, you should at least make sure she can behave herself. Otherwise, let her wait outside like the untrained bitch she is. Hey! 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 You let him get to you. Jesus, take a breath, Easton. She makes it so easy, doesn't she? Listen, you sadistic prick. You may not be responsible for this, but sooner or later, you're gonna screw up. It's a phone call to your parole officer. Step too close to a school. And the minute, the second that you do, I'm gonna be there to put you right back in that tiny cell. We're done here. Shame I couldn't be of more help. Hmm. Y'all come back real soon now.
Listen, Joni, I'm more than happy to help you out. I'd rather you get it from me than someone else, but you might want to lay off a bit. Yeah, I know, Mrs. E. I'm just, I'm really stressed out with the musical, and I feel like I'm surrounded by idiots. I do know how that feels. <laughs> yeah, you're really saving my life here. Um, I promise I'll lay off, um, at least until tech week. Listen, I get it. Just promise me you're being careful, and if there's something else bothering you, you'll come talk to me. Swear. I trust you. Thank you. Okay, you all set then? Mm-hmm, all good. Okay, um, I have another student meeting, but check in with me, okay? Okay, later, thanks. Uh, later. Hey, Wes, I didn't know you were here today. Mind your own business. Okay, excuse me for living. Decided to show up? What's with the riddle? It makes you sound like a narc. Scott, what's happening isn't funny. I told you I'm not selling. If you want to take the car, you can come back for me later. If I don't get the stuff into the school board, I'll never hear the end of it. I thought Wes was driving you home today. He wasn't here today. Really? What about Joni? She's meeting with Miss Easton and then she's prop shopping. Oh. It's fine. I don't mind waiting. Where were you? I had to stay late in chem. I uh, texted you. I didn't get it. Where were you at lunch? I had to take care of some things. You ready to go? Hi, Miss Miller. Good afternoon, Wesley. Please drive my daughter home safely. Yes, ma'am. I'll be home in a couple hours. Okay. Love you. Is it him? Yeah, if it looks like a rat and it smells like a rat. All available units to the high school. She said the high school? Yeah. Oh, shit. Hey, Kate, we have it handled at the moment. You're kidding me, right? This is my case. Let them go. Nick, I promised Tilly that her school was safe. Okay, I looked her in the eyes and I promised to keep her and those kids safe. The least she deserves is for me to show up when one of them is murdered. Just listen, <laughs> Kate. What the hell, Nick? Let's go. I think we should go back into your office, okay? Nick. It wasn't a kid, Kate. Who was it? Let's go back into your office. We'll talk about it there. Who was it? Nick. I'm so sorry. <sighs> Thank <laughs> you. 